A sex ed poster at a Shawnee Mission Middle School is drawing attention from lawmakers. Now, the poster used frank and some say sexually inappropriate language. Garrett Hake is live at Hawker Grove Middle School where the poster first caught parents' attention. Guys, in 28 pages of curriculum documents, never explicitly mention sex. They talk about abstinence and human development. The superintendent of the district here says that information was posted online, but now making it easier for parents to find will be a major part of his review. The most important thing for us is um, parent access, parental access to the information in advance. A lesson learned the hard way for Shawnee Mission Superintendent Jim Henson, who said he's received dozens of calls and emails over the last two weeks about a controversial poster used in middle school sex ed classes. And the other part of the review really is the appropriateness of the materials for this specific age level of students. The material in question is this poster, some of which we've blurred out, describing different ways of expressing sex sexual feelings up to and including different types of sex. The making of difference. Last night, Hinson told the board he thought the poster was objectionable and said neither he nor the board had approved it. He reminded them parents have the option to remove their students from sex ed instruction if they know about it. But the poster had already drawn the attention of state senator Mary Pilcher Cook, who posted on her website that she'd soon be filing legislation to require permission slips for students to take sex ed classes in public schools. That is something Hinson opposes. Local control is always better. But we have locally elected boards of education and they're elected to make those decisions for school districts. That's where those decisions really should be made. A spokesperson for the New York based company which produces the supplement and the poster says it's been used in 75 school districts around the country with nowhere near this amount of attention. Reporting live in Shawnee, Garrett Hake, 41 Action News.